So um, first of all, we were, we, re- we were like doing the social prospecting for the most part where we just like find somebody, ask them to contribute and realize that we were kind of being silly. We had all this traffic now um, and we might as well start using some of our traffic to encourage people to contribute. So we launched this landing page a few months into it where we basically use the content that we have to push people to sign up to contribute to future articles. So we now have a list of people. It's more than a thousand people um, that have contributed to a post or, uh, or signed up through this form to contribute. Um, so just a little bit about why they should do it, right? Um, and try, then they go onto a list. This is a HubSpot powered landing page so it goes right into a smart list inside HubSpot. And then when we wanna do a new article, we whip up the Survey Monkey form and, and uh, send it to everybody that's filled out that form. Uh, this is what an article might look like. Um, we have an integration with HubSpot. So in addition to being able to leverage a lot of the relationships I developed there, uh, we also have an integration with HubSpot. A lot of HubSpot customers and HubSpot partners use our software uh, to, uh, to do their reporting where they pull data from HubSpot and Google Analytics and AdWords and Facebook ads, et cetera, et cetera, and then produce um, dashboards and reports that they can present to their clients or their bosses. And so um, one of the articles we decided to do would be like, let's talk about all the HubSpot integrations that HubSpot partners like. And so we asked them, like, what's your favorite HubSpot integration? And then what we do is we kind of organize them in different areas so that we're providing some level, level of editorial um, uh, yeah, editorial guidance, I guess, to the contributions. It's not just 35 random uh, random tips right that you have to scan through so so now if you're looking for HubSpot integrations you can click here and see click here and see all right which which category might I be interested in right now and it'll take you right to it uh and so that once you get there you see the different ones so belch is one here uh beacon uh snap app interactive content zeros great tool for interactive content creation uh, can i just ask you for example like um here with scott's or david's whatever there um yep so are these two questions that you've asked them in the survey, okay, um, what it does and value of integration? It does, yeah. So usually we try to keep it to like one, one two maximum open-ended questions. Uh, and so in this case, it would be like, what's your favorite integration? What does it do? And what's the, what's the value of the integration? What, what does the actual integration part do, right? So what does the tool do by itself and what does the integration do? So we asked in that case, it's like one short form and two open-ended longer form um, questions. And so I can actually skip ahead. I think I have a survey open. Yeah, so here's an example of a survey. Uh, so this is what's your favorite, what's your preferred uh, project management tool? What's your favorite feature of that tool? So the article will end up being like, the, the most important features for project management tools for marketing agencies. That will be the title of the article. Uh, so you have, we're collecting email and name and company so that we can um, tell them when it's done uh, and we can uh, link to their company. And then we ask them what the project, preferred project management tool is, whether they'd actually really like it or not, uh, what's one feature and then describe how that feature works. So the meat of this article will be the one feature that they, um, but we'll, we'll also get, because we're asking some multiple choice questions, we'll get, you know, we'll probably try to get 50 to 100 responses to this. And so we'll have a pretty good handle on what, what are the most popular um, project management tools for marketing agencies.